I'm, I'm going to do a quick intro. We are using Create React App, but uh, then there was the React license thing going on, and then we saw that for React 16, as you can see here, uh, it's not going to be very good for web components and any external libraries used. So we were like, hey, wh what else can we do? So we saw Preact, and we tried to find a way to switch over to Preact, which with Preact Compat can use the same API as React, but be much smaller, have nice support for external libraries and web components and all this stuff. So I'm gonna show this to you in like five steps. Start at step zero. So first, uh, you set up a project with uh, Create React App, and what you get is a 123 kilobyte JavaScript file, which does nothing. It's uh, 38 after gzipping, but of course all of this has to be parsed, and it's quite big. This is how it looks. React just React DOM takes up 80% of the whole thing. So then. I was looking at how this whole thing is built up and, and what, what I found you can do is you take the scripts that uh, React is using, which is this in React scripts build and React scripts start, and then you just hack Webpack to replace anything that's React with Preact Compat and React DOM with also Preact Compat. So this way when you run build or run start, then you will actually get Preact in your code. For testing, it's a bit trickier. What, what you need to do is replace a bunch of stuff in Jest. You can check this repo, the URLs up there if you can read it. And I, I did need to hack it a bit. I, I take the module constructor of Node to resolve the Jest config to this replace Jest config and you write tests a little bit differently, but you have render and shallow render, and you can have snapshot testing and run stuff. There's also this hack, which is because of uh, Babel Preset React that adds self and source, but basically you're still writing the same code and it becomes 38 kilobytes before gzipping and 13 afterwards. So after this, I was looking at what else can I do, so I, I was like, okay, we don't need IE 9 and 10, so you can patch uh, Babel to use IE 11 as a target. I also made a really, really shitty uh, less compiler with Watch, which uh, you just change some stuff. Where is package JSON? It's gone somewhere here that you build the CSS and watch the CSS when you start, or build, or test, or whatever. Then our security guys were like, hey, we need some resource integrity right now, and I still didn't want to eject, because I, I just don't want to maintain the Webpack config, because it's all the same everywhere, why should you? So you go in and you push to the plugins to add the SRI plugin to Webpack, and it just works out of the box. So yeah, you can check the repo here. And I still have one minute, so here's a picture of my cat. <laughs> 